us a little more perspective on what those firefighters in East Harlem are facing right now. I want to bring in Jeffrey Harold, who is the chief of the Danbury Fire Department. Sir, are you with us on the news line? I am. Chief, can you tell us about the challenges a firefighter is going to face going into a situation like the one we saw down in New York City? Uh, there's a slew of concerns right there. You've got an unstable environment. You've got an environment that's very dynamic. You don't know for sure what you've got. You don't know whether you've got uh, some form of uh, a gas leak, explosives, or something else, whatever it is that caused that. So you're going in with some very serious concerns. It's very labor-intensive, as you can see from the videos. It needs a, uh, very many people to, to really uh, manage that scene. You've got rescue operations. You've got multiple operations going on as far as suppression and, and search and rescue. So you've got some severe, serious command and control situations as well. You need staffing at all levels uh, to handle a situation like this. Chief, we heard from uh, Metro North that they were called to a gas leak near that uh, scene. Does this seem to be consistent with uh, something that could result from a gas leak? The, uh, the, the, the image we can see from the videos and stuff certainly do you know, comport with those images that we've seen in the past. Uh, total devastation in a situation like that could be a gas leak. It is certainly one of those things that you need to consider as most likely. There's also uh, some concern, obviously, about nearby buildings to this scene. Uh, what has to be done to uh, make sure those buildings are structurally sound in that area? Well, the first thing you have to do is make sure you evacuate any building that may be impacted by this. Then you've got to start doing some structural checks with engineering, uh, get some engineers in there, check for walls, support structures. Uh, any type of an explosion like that certainly has some collateral damages beyond what you can see readily. So you need to check, check uh, everything from walls, foundations, and, and, and other such uh, infrastructure such as water pipes or other gas pipes in the area. All right, Chief Jeffrey Harold, Danbury Fire Department, we appreciate your perspective on this matter. Thank you this very afternoon. much. Thank you.